What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today I'm actually doing a top water challenge. And shout out to Kendall uh Kendall Gray. I think he did it. Um I think he said Walker Wilson did so shout out to shout out to both of them. But uh you know I want to try something new today. And I'm out here at this pond, beautiful day outside. It's absolutely amazing. Just hopefully I can get on some decent fish today. Um, you know, majority of the time I catch small ones here, but hopefully I'll end up catching a big one on top water. But um moving on from that. I'm so ready to get started. I'm gonna be throwing around, you know, three different style of baits, uh, three three different styles of topwater baits and trying to catch a fish on each one of those styles. Sadly to say, I don't have any braid or uh, mono on my reel, so I'm using fluorocarbon, but it'd be all right. I'm not too worried about it. I don't think it's, you know, I don't think it'll matter too much um, with me just pond fishing out here. But we're gonna give it a try. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you guys wanna see more challenges and stuff like this, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. If you wanna see more pond fishing videos, go ahead and do that as well. Um, but leave comments below. I wanna see what you guys think about these videos and uh, what type of videos you wanna see. Let's go ahead and get started. This is a box that has like all assorted stuff in. We're probably gonna start off with a little tiny pop bar because oh, I like this one. I've caught some here on this one. River to sea, really clean bait. I'd be all right though. I'm gonna start off with this one. I'll probably move to like a walking style bait and then possibly a buzz bait or a like whopper plopper. Something that's gonna make some noise. Let's get this tied on. Get started. Alrighty guys, first bait is this river to sea pop bar. Let's see if we can get a fish on this. I might catch a fish or two and then switch baits and I mean if it's gonna be super tough I might if I just catch one on my switch to the other top water this challenge is not gonna be easy so we're gonna have to go with it we're gonna make plenty of cast and hopefully whack these fish you know some days these fish eat some top water I mean decent out here some days they're not so hopefully today is one of those days where I'll catch some fish it's got some pretty decent for that floral I can tell how it walks it's not you know, it's not really floating too well, but you know, we're gonna work with it. When I throw top water, I usually throw braid. So this is kind of, this is a little different for me. I've seen three fish jump over there. We're gonna go over there in a minute. But if I go over there, I might take my box with my other top waters. So I'm not just like slaughtering the fish on this and I can't even catch any on the other ones. So I wanna complete this challenge. I don't just wanna just mess around with this challenge. I actually want to catch a fish on each one of these lures and complete it. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> oh man. That had my adrenaline pumping. Sad part is like I saw something like hit the top of the water next to my bait, not next to my bait, to the right of my bait. So I wasn't even really looking at it, so that scared me. He just kind of hit it, he never grabbed it. There's something big swimming out there. I don't know what that was. I'm gonna have to figure out how to work this or figure out how they want me to work this. Sometimes they're gonna want it slow, sometimes they're gonna want it fast, popping out like this. That floor is sinks, so I gotta kinda mess around. Whoa! That is I ain't even on that tree. That is ridiculous. That was like such a good cast. Uh, ooh, ooh. Someone was hauling butt on the motorcycle. Woo! What am I doing? These left hand cats just throw me off. There you go. That's what I was wanting. Alright. I'm going to try something new. I've been throwing this around for a hot minute and I feel like this challenge. It's gonna be harder than I thought, especially with it being so, so, so hot out. It's not like it's just moderate. I mean, it's blazing out like I'm dying. Uh, what should I throw? A walking bait? Should I throw a frog? <sighs> Dang. It's a bone white, bone white spook, a spook junior, super spook junior. Not a standard spook, I didn't mean to say that. So I went from River to Sea Pop Bar, I was just in white, to a bone walking bait, which is called a spook. This is Spook Junior, it's just a little bird. 
see if we can catch one on this. Oh, first hit on the spook. God, he like swamped that thing too. I don't know why he didn't eat it. Whack that thing. Usually if they're not really eating this thing, if they're just kind of swatting, I mean, that's the first incident, so I can't, I can't go by that, but usually if they just swat at it like that, they usually don't want that color. It's just kind of pissing them off and they don't really want to commit to it. So usually if you switch colors, I mean, they'll usually tear it up. And I'm not used to throwing a bone white color uh this when the weather's like this as in like super sunny days i'll throw in like a chrome color this is a bone so maybe that's an i don't know i don't have a i saw a fish literally jump two foot all the way i'm actually gonna cut this guy off too i just need to literally just figure out what they're gonna bite i've been i've thrown plenty of casts with both of these baits it's the fact that i've got a bite on each of them not that that means anything because I need to catch some fish on it. I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna throw a frog. I'm gonna throw this baby right here. I really think this is our best bet for a topwater fish. And uh, I think we'll get one. What if I went this whole challenge without catching a fish? I would I don't know what I would do. I would seriously post it just to make fun of myself. But that would be no good for you guys. Honestly, it might be funny for you guys. But. I think I can get one on this frog. I'm going to walk down this bank. Hopefully, hopefully whack one up. I mean, look at them. They're just coming up everywhere, hitting bait. So, why can't I catch one? I love this frog for, you know, like a weedless approach. Like, I can throw up all in this grass right here, up shallow. All right. That's a fish right there. I'm calling it. That's a fish. Or not. Because I got a big old piece of grass hanging out of his booty. Oh, he came off. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I was about to say when I threw that cast, my hookup ratio is not the best of this palm. Bro. It's like they don't get it all the way. I was going to clip trim down those little things a little bit. God. Ooh. Got him that time. That's a better one. That fish ain't bad at all. Yes. He came off. Yes. All right, man, you're gonna get yourself on some poop if you don't stop. Ugh. Look at that, that's pretty fish. He needs to eat, but not a bad fish at all. Beautiful fish, first top water bait done. And that happened quick. That happened so quick. I might have to go just have some fun frog fishing, you know? Beautiful little fish, look at him. Pretty colors, let's get him back in the water. You're my first fish of the day. Alrighty, first bait done. Which is the frog that did not take long. I might throw that up for some fun after. Ah, uh, two more to go. What else we're we gonna throw? What else we got? So I got this sunfish and I got this sunfish. I don't really consider this a sunfish because it's considered that like a shad. But you got this sunfish and this shad. Woo! Ants are biting the crap out of me. You know, I'd really like to throw this bait. All right, I was about to say. I'd like to throw it if I can get it out. This one has, I mean, it still has a white bottom. A little bit of chrome on the side. So when you pop it, it might tilt and you can see that chrome. Maybe that will make a difference in this fish committing to this bait. So there's two baits I threw. I threw a white and I threw a bone. And this one is pretty different. Yes, yeah, it's got a little bit of white on the bottom, but it does have chrome. There is sun, a lot of sun out, which I would really like to throw chrome in sun. Maybe they'll eat it. Right. There we go. Oh, he choked it. God. I haven't been getting any bite. I haven't eaten this first bite on here. He absolutely choked it. Look at that. Little guy. You better make it easy on me. Don't try to swallow that thing. Cause... Oh, all right. Yes. Bait number two done, guys. Little papar. Little fat bass. Nothing wrong with that. He actually came up. 
He just sucked it in. He didn't even like come up and destroy it. That's insane. Second fish on the second bait. One more bait to go and complete this challenge. So we got two baits done. Actually the two easiest that I thought was gonna happen. That was correct. So we got, we're more than halfway there. Now we just need one more fish on a certain bait. And I'm hoping I'll get one. This is a pretty big profile bait for these fish to fit in their mouth since most of them aren't that big. But I totally believe that I'll get one on this. Oh. Oh my god. He had it. I didn't think he had it at first, so I lifted up and he was yanked back, but it just pulled it right out of his mouth. What the heck just happened? Yes! Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. About to touch it. About to touch him for the count. Oh my gosh. Now you're just shaking. Now you're making yourself worse. Now I'm going to have to poke it down in the water. There you go. Oh, I did it. That was awesome. Finally walked around the whole lake. I literally walked around the whole lake. Made a cast right there. My line hit that or something. I heard a big blow up. So I looked up and my bait was still there. Well, I kept working my bait. And once my bait hit where that fish blew up, he was still there. And he just, God, he destroyed it. He actually got it. That was no joke. This over here in the shade set up perfectly. And that right there, I completed my challenge. All right, guys, that's going to conclude this video. You know, I was going to catch some more fish and throw that bait around, but I really have to go. I, I had a big list of stuff that I need to get done today, and it's pretty late now. Or it's not late, it's like 3 30. But I have a lot of stuff to get done. Like, I'll probably be working till like 1 o'clock tonight. So, but overall, thank you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to see more challenges, definitely hit that thumbs up button. Comment below on what kind of challenges you want to see. Like, I want you guys to comment below. I want you guys to interact. I want you guys to express what you guys want to see. Tell me, you guys, tell me what you guys want to see. And just like, if you guys want to make up some challenges and like list the rules below or list the challenge name or what you have to do, you know, all that stuff. That's that'd be sick. So go ahead and comment below. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe, hit the bell, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. But, you know, today was very tough. It wasn't like, you know, my standard day. I didn't think, this place I usually catch a lot of fish, right? But I usually have to slow down to catch them. There's a lot of small fish. There's not too many big ones in here. So, you know, throwing that top order is really complicated, but I actually completed what I wanted to, which is catch a fish on each one of those lures. Not really a time frame, which I haven't been out here too long, but, uh, you know, I caught a fish on each one of those lures, and uh, that's really what all that counted, and that's what I wanted to happen. But, uh, you know, that little sunfish, that live target sunfish, we had a spur frog, and then we had a little popper. So, those were the key baits for today. That, that little fish was stressing me out for a minute. I really didn't think I was going to get it, but, you know, we got it. But, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a comment below, like the video, and subscribe, and hit the little bell. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Honestly, I think that 24-7 an understatement to my day-to-day. -day. If ain't no way, then I'ma make a way. Yeah. Nails say I said ain't no way. I ain't never listened, kept them at the distance. This is for the ones who ain't afraid. And this is more than some paper chase. I wonder who else can say the same. Never worry about what they attain. If I'm living, then I really can't complain. Can't contain who you really are. I know my true colors like the same.